the Ibis Styles and the Novotel in Bangkok. It's kind of like two hotels for the price of one. Because once you get inside it, they do uh, come together and have the same elevator system. Quite bizarre, fairly nice, and reasonably priced as well. Dear valued guest, blah de blah de blah de blah de blah, you've booked breakfast at the Ibis Styles. Uh, we're not doing it in that restaurant anymore, so you get to use the breakfast at the Novotel. Okay. Any upgrades and upgrade. Hello you, I'm Big Fat Bestie, and uh, I'm getting picked up by Jamie's Taxis to take me to the airport in a mere 15 minutes time. So here's a quick whistle stop tour of the room at the Ibis Styles. Uh, it's small. Uh, I thought it'd be smaller than it is actually. Uh, it's 21 square meters, uh, but it's quite well appointed. You've got a full size safe in here. Uh, you've got your uh, hair dryer as well. Uh, you've got six uh, coat hangers. They only give you two pillows, but you've got a uh, spare one up there should you uh, wish to have it. Big old mirror. So I've just got out of the shower. Apologies for the hair. A very open plan, that kind of small bathroom, which I've messed up. You've got your toilet there. Uh, you've got your shower there and a big hole going straight through to the bedroom. But I believe if you pull this, yeah, you can get some uh, privacy slide. Uh, color scheme is very yellow, despite the fact the uh, Ibis Styles logo is very, very green. Uh, you've got a mini fridge. Nothing in it, but you do get two bottles of water. You've got your coffee and tea etc etc a uh, fair size bed a uh, very fair size tv although the channels are rubbish uh, there's no uh, none of the uh, what you would call the standard uh, news channels for example no cnn no fox news no bbc uh, no sky news either so if you're on english speaking news you're limited to al jazeera and euro news which isn't really great uh, i don't know what that says if somebody can speak to you can let me know maybe it says should have upgraded to the Novotel, possibly. Uh, you've got your view of Bangkok out of the window. I'm on floor 11 and down there is heaven at four, which I've reviewed on this channel uh, before. You've got your telephone. It does do room service. I'll have a quick look at the menu there in a second. Uh, you've got quite nice wooden flooring. So the room itself, it is modern. It is well appointed. It does have uh, outlets and sockets uh, at sensible places and of course the USB in the wall which is pretty handy room service menu should you wish to have a look at it you can press pause right now and that's pretty much it the whistle stop tour of the Ibis so positives room is not as small as I thought uh, it is very, very modern and very new. Uh, negatives, <clears throat> the walls are very thin. Uh, so thin, you can hear kind of anything going on. So people will be hearing me doing this uh, vlog right now. Uh, also, if, you, uh, if anybody else closes, not even slams, closes at their door and you've got your head on the pillow uh, by the headboard, uh, the wall does vibrate and shake. So that's pretty uncomfortable. Uh, the other negatives are the channels on the TV are rubbish. Uh, there's lots of them, but they're not very good. But other than that, I mean, I pay 32 pounds uh, a night, British pounds. Let me put the uh, conversions on the screen for you right now. Uh, including breakfast. And I got the uh, Novotel breakfast instead of the Ibis Stars breakfast. So pfft, not bad. The only negatives with that are the room, uh, sorry, not the room, the hotel is basically one hotel split into two. You use the same lift, the same elevators uh, to get uh, up as the Novotel, so they can sometimes take a while. And also with everybody having breakfast in the same room, uh, you sometimes have to wait a bit and it is very busy down there. So that's the room. It's all gone very red up here on the 24th floor. 
of the uh, Ibis Nova towel. Let's have a look. I believe this is the uh, pool bar. I'm leaving my suitcase down there. Hopefully nobody's going to steal it. But let's go and have a quick look up here before my uh, taxi comes. And this is the uh, rooftop bar. It's nice and breezy up here. It opens at 7 o'clock in the morning as well, which is uh, pretty cool. And this is it, guys. You get your views all round Bangkok. View the Comrade. Maybe I'll uh, put the Comrade in uh, my review section of hotels I can't afford to stay in. And this is the Infinity Pool. Not bad, huh? Right, I better get downstairs and check out before I get a copyright strike because of this music. Uh, this is what I was telling you about the breakfast room. Um, I don't have time to have breakfast today because my taxi's coming. So unfortunately I can't show you the spread, but it, it, it's pretty good. It's normal four-star hotel fare, but it's so busy. Busy breakfast. At the risk of sounding like an advert for Janie's taxi, she's really excelled herself today. This is my taxi. Oh my God. I feel like a superstar. Bangkok, Svanaboom Airport. Four weeks ago, this was my favorite place in the entire world, and now it's my least favorite place in the entire world. And to add insult to injury, Eva Air, that's who I'm flying. It's my airline of choice. They're directly above it. Lan Mei Airlines, the worst airline in the entire world. So let's get checked in. Broken. Broken. So it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning here at Swampy and I don't think I've ever seen it so quiet. Certainly not in high season. This is uh, my check-in area and there's hardly anybody there. This guy's not wearing a mask. These guys are. So it's uh, about 50% masks. Airside at Svanaboom Airport, I've had a lot of people uh, asking me uh, where they can get their VAT refund uh, before they fly home. Well, hopefully this should answer your question. Uh, you can go 160 meters to the right, and I've just come out of uh, passport control and immigration, or you can go 460 meters to the left. The choice is yours. I'm going to go to the right because I'm in F-gate. I mean, the signposting is pretty good here, so really all you've got to do is uh, follow the signpost for VAT refund. So it's gone down from 160 meters uh, to 80 meters. So if we carry on walking, uh, we will get there, and it's actually going to be on our left. It's going to be a bit like one of these exchange booths, uh, but you exchange your receipts. Don't forget your receipts. And if you're uh, thinking that you can get a refund of... Uh, dodgy stuff off uh, market stalls or from uh, Tutcom, forget about it. But if it's real and you've got a receipt, then why not? You can chance your arm and uh, see if you can get uh, some all important cash back. Tastes and travel. Uh, Svanaboom's got the usual uh, airport fare. My advice to you guys, if you are buying uh, cigarettes to bring back with you, remember 200 cigarettes is the limit, one litre of uh, spirits. And my advice is to buy it in a 7-Eleven uh, from whichever resort or city or town uh, that you are in. Uh, the prices of uh, booze and the prices of cigarettes are not particularly competitive here at Svanaboom. No matter how much they claim uh, it is tax-free, it may well be tax-free, uh, but it actually costs more than the tax would be. So once you are airside, everything is pretty expensive. And there you go. This is your uh, duty-free uh, pickup counter, should you wish to get that. And just beyond the duty-free is what you guys have been asking me about, the VAT refund uh, for tourists' office. And one of them, if you're flying out of a DE or F gate, it is right there. So that's it, that's all you gotta do. Pop in there, queue up, or don't queue up, as the case may be today. And that's where you can get all your that refunded. Uh, nothing much seems to have changed since I was uh, last here outside in uh, Svanaboom 
which is set in October. Uh, there are various shops and various restaurants all over the shop, but if you want to find the food court, uh, then you head uh, towards D, E and F, or e, F, e, F and G, as it looks like here. Uh, you'll see this little pagoda thing. And if you just go straight on uh, from where I'm walking now, uh, that is where you'll find the kind of food court. It's got a small pub, it's got Burger King, you've got... Uh, it's mainly, mainly ramen actually, mainly noodles. But I may as well keep you with me. So I've got to fill up a bit of time on this video because I didn't uh, get a chance to film the breakfast at the uh, Ibis Novotel Soy 4. May as well show you around a bit of Svanabum Airport. You know, normally I'm so excited on my vlogs. You guys do say to me, you know, the, one of the things you like about this channel is, is my enthusiasm, but it's fucking hard. Uh, to be enthusiastic uh, when you're going home. Honestly, if you've never been uh, to Thailand before, everybody gets a bit of the old uh, holiday blues, um, but coming home uh, from this airport, it's worse than any holiday blues that I've had before. Yeah, very, very sad indeed. Hello. See, look, ramen, loads of ramens. See, told you it was expensive. If you've got money to burn, you can get stir-fried river prawn with curry powder, 1,200 baht. Really? That's more like it though, a bit of morning glory with that mined pork. I don't know where the pork mine may be. That's only 150. So this is it guys. I'm on the travelator and it's uh, time to get the flight home. Sadness, much of sadness.